Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jembe from Alici Creations and happy 2021 everyone. Before I get into the business of today, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the support, the follows, the subscriptions, the engagement, the feedback. Really, really appreciate it. So today I'm going to show you how to make this loungewear. first part will be today which will be the pants and then the second part will be next week which will be the top part so if you haven't subscribed subscribe turn on notifications so you're notified when I post the second section so to begin you're going to need two colors of yarn um, any chunky yarn will do I'm using a white uh, chunky yarn and a black chunky yarn a six millimeter um, hook some stitch markers a pair of scissors and a darning needle i have put links to where you can purchase these items in the description box below the stitches i'm going to use is the rib stitch which is a front post back post double crochet the double crochet the first stitch and the double crochet decrease I've added tutorials for the stitches um, in the description below and obviously we're going to do a lot of slip stitch because we'll be working in a round. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you the parting in a medium um, but to begin these are the number of chains that you're going to need for each size. So I'm going to start the work by making a slip knot and then making a chain uh, based on the size that i want and i'm making mine in medium so i'm going to make 76 stitches once you're done with the stitches you then add three stitches that will be a turning chain and it doesn't count as a stitch and then you're going to double crochet in the fourth stitch from hook I'm gonna work the pants in a circle um, so what I do is the first line I make the double crochet uh, as flat and then I join I'll show you um, how I do it so that I don't have to worry about a twisted chain once you're done with the row you join um at the top of your uh, chain with a slip stitch so that you'd have formed a round and then you just use the tail to sew in the gap and then you chain three and start the rib stitch which is a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet i have added a tutorial for ribbed stitch in the description uh, below so if you need more information on the rib stitch you can find it there but it says front post double crochet and back post double crochet or alternating all around and once you are done i'm at the end of my ribbed stitch I just I'm just finishing off sorry the camera is unaligned then I just join at the top of the chain three with a slip stitch and that's your first row and it's um, stretchy then you chain three and then you're going to um, repeat the rib stitch two more times so in total you're going to have four rows in once you're done your fourth row you take color number two and then you join it at um, uh, the beginning of the next row so you join with a slip stitch at the top of the chain three and i join it this way and then I 
chain one and then make a slip stitch again in the same chain that's how i join my yarn and it's strong and then i just move in the ends later then i chain three and i'm going to start with a double crochet in the same stitch and all the stitches around so you go through the round uh, in a double crochet and if you want to know more about double crochet there's also a tutorial in the descriptions once you're at the end of your round i'm at the end of my round here you join at the top of the first stitch not on top of the chain three on top of the on the first stitch this will keep your seam straight and you're going to do the same for the rest of the rounds and what i'm going to do is to get to my size if you're working a small and medium um, you crochet the same round nine more times that's for a small and medium and for a large and extra large crochet um, the lines 12 uh, 11 more times and I'm now done with my 10 rows um, for large extra large will be 12 rows and then I'm placing stitch markers to form uh, the leg and how I do that is I divide my work uh, my number of stitches by four and then place in the first quarter and the third quarter um, you can also find the actual number of stitches on my blog in the description box and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to double crochet to the stitch marker and when you get to the stitch marker I'm close to the stitch marker now remove the stitch marker and then you do a V stitch in the stitch marker which is two double crochets chain two and another two double crochets in the same stitch you can see it's formed a V stitch and then um, you just continue to the next stitch marker so I'm going to continue double crochet to the next stitch marker and I will do a V stitch in there as well I am now on the other side where I place the second stitch marker and again I um, crochet a V stitch which is two double crochets and chain two and two double crochets in the same stitch this is where i'm going to join the two sides to form legs for my pants and as you can see it forms a lot of v and then you just continue with the double crochet until the end of the round I'm now at the end of my round thanks to editing i join at the on the first stitch remember not on top of the chain three on the first stitch to keep your seam straight and then chain three the pants will form a shape so you don't have to increase it will form a shape as you're crocheting um, your work and because i'm using acrylic yarn it will acrylic yarn yarn it will stretch eventually so don't worry about um, adding more stitches from the waist it's not the, this pattern doesn't deem it necessary and then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to double crochet to the waist stitch and when I get to where I placed my V-stitch, what I do is I place a 
double crochet in the first stitch and then I join with a slip stitch to the other side and form the one side to form the partition for the legs and then slip stitch and then I'm, from here I'm going to work on the one side of the leg and then the other side I'll work later so once you've done the slip stitch you turn your work leave that unworked and finish double crochet until the end of your round and once again you join at the top of the first stitch of your round and then chain three I'm working this pants as a slim fit so we'll be reducing as we're going along um, the length of the leg and I'm going to show you how so what you're going to do is you're going to count your stitches and divide them by four again and then place your stitch marker in the first quarter and the third quarter this is where I will be decreasing and the decreases will be every other line so we're not going to decrease every line we'll be decreasing every uh, second line so at the start of your round you chain three as been normal and then you double crochet to where you have the stitch marker And when you get where you have your stitch marker you remove it and set it aside uh, to reuse and then you yarn over pull through two yarn over insert pull through two and then pull through three sure that was fast let me do it again let me zoom in as well yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two you have two on the hook yarn over instead yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through three and then you continue to decrease to the next stitch marker and when you get to the division of the leg you just put a double crochet in the previous double crochet that you used to join and then continue to the next stitch mark and once you get to the next stitch marker just before this next stitch marker that's where you're going to start your decrease just before oh wait sorry i shouldn't do a double crochet um so you decrease from the one before the stitch marker and in the stitch marker perform one stitch and then continue your double crochet until the end and then from here we're just going to alternate so the next row will be a non-decrease row so you're just going to double crochet um, all around and what I do is I will double crochet and then I will replace the stitch markers so I don't miss the uh, stitch to decrease when um, it, I get to the next line and I usually just decrease one before or one after so it doesn't form an unnecessary seam so I place my stitch marker that's where I'm going to decrease and then continue with the round and I'm now on the next row right and this is the decrease row as I say we're going to alternate uh, decrease and non decrease so this is a decrease and I'll also decrease on the other side and then the next row will be in a decrease as you can see my one leg is now forming shape and I'm just going to continue with the alternating decrease and decrease to make it a slim fit so from here on you alternate uh, 
a decrease roll and in a decrease roll i'm to roll 30 for small and medium and roll 32 for large and extra large this should give you a length of 45 centimeters to 55 centimeters measured from inside your your leg you may have to add more lines or reduce lines depending on your height i'm now uh, done my 30 rows for my one leg which is about 45 centimeters so as i said you can um, just do a little bit more and then i chain three and then just double crochet around for four rows so these four rows you will not decrease you're just going to double crochet um, all around uh, for four rows and that will be the completion of your leg of the pants the first leg of your pants i'm now done with the first um, leg of my pants it's now complete as you can see uh, the shape is done and now the one leg is complete and in total it's about 55 centimeters and now I'm going to start with the other side of the pants and we'll continue to work it in a round so you're going to join your yarn where you had your chain three in the vestige where you had your chain three in the vestige and then you join your yarn for the slip knot and you pull through and then you chain one and then do a slip stitch in the same stitch that's how you join your yarn and your first row you chain three and then double crochet all round and when you get to remember where we put a, a double crochet you're going to place a double crochet in the in the double crochet that was previously placed in the leg one to join it and then join with the slope stitch at the top on the first stitch and that's it so from here on you're just going to repeat um, exactly what you did on the other leg decrease until you get to um, 30 rows or 32 rows or whatever length that you require and then finish, finish it off accordingly it should be exactly the same and then for the drawstring you make a chain uh, I would say anything between 130 and 200 centimeters long so you'll have to measure it and then how I insert it on my pants I use a pinafore before I uh, weave in my ends of the string I use a pinafore and then I just find the center of my pants okay find the center of your pants and then just ran it through uh, under the front post double crochets this is this works out much faster and easier for me i'm sure there are other methods but this is the method that i use and then 
I put the last one in there and that's it that is um, your loungewear pants complete that's the end of part one of the pants um, subscribe turn on post notifications for you to be notified when I post part two next week until next time see ya